the Archer. Truly the backbone of any military. Its ranged capabilities keep it away from the battlefield, yet its deadly arrows manage to pierce the enemy and kill them off one by one. A single archer, maybe not that powerful, but when banded together, they can create a hailstorm of arrows, slaughtering anything within its area. Yet the archers are disrespected for being cowards. So, they disband from the military and create their own Tower of Death, where any military that tries to attack is bombarded with arrow after arrow until their demise. Yo, what's going on, boys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some totally accurate battle simulator. If you guys enjoy this series, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already. That also helps. And comment down below what you'd like to see next. Regardless, today uh, we have an Archer Tower of Death. This tower is filled with every type of archer unit and banner bearers because I wanted them to stay in place. But basically anyone with bows and arrows is up on this tower. We've got poachers, we've got standard archers, we've got balloon archers, we've got ice archers, we've got skeleton archers, we've got uh, firework archers, and we have one Artemis. Leader of them all! Leader of all the archers, boys! Um, and we're gonna have different armies attacking them. We're gonna start off with an army comprised of every missile unit that isn't an archer. Any missile unit that does not have a bow and arrow uh, is in this army and is going to be attacking. Um, is it save the Dark Peasant, because that dude's too OP. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, see how this goes! Alright, boys, going ahead and pressing start right now. And we shall see how this goes. So, the archer units begin their bombardment. Their arrow bombardment is clashing with the enemy. Snake archers hitting them with their snakes. But poisoners poisoning their own troopers. Guys. Well, they did get some poison on the enemy. And there's that Huacha. Something very devastating that the archers sadly can't mimic with a mere bow and arrow. An absolute bombardment of uh, arrows right there. It did not hit very well. Only collided with a few troopers. But, hey, it did do some damage, I suppose. We've also got some uh, quick drawers and gunslingers and stuff like that. They might be able to do a little bit of damage to those guys up top. It, it looks like these fellows are just... 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 What?! How are you doing this? You are disobeying the laws of his- Oh, they fell. <laughs> Guys, I put banner bearers on here for a reason. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> they are mucho dumo. This is not brilliant. Not good tactics. Daily Tactics is not proud of this. Here comes Zeus coming up here with his lightning rods. Ooh, getting smacked by a few pumpkins. Not a good thing, dude. Not a good thing, dude. I think the uh, the archers have got the dubski here. Oh, that was just a short, short watch a shot. It just did not have the range to hit right there. Another one coming. It's just, you gotta get a little bit more oomph in it, buddy. Even the ballista's failing. Come on. Aim upper. <laughs> more up. Aim upwards. Do it. Oh, there we go. The Ballista pulling through with a nice little shot right there. Taking down two troopers. Not bad in the slightest. Dude, this Quatcha is failing on so many levels right now. It is kind of pathetic. We also have a one Poisoner. We have a Bombardier here. Things ain't looking too hot, Chiefs. Things... <laughs> Dude's just on fire. Oh, God, he's dead. Oh, God, the Archers are brutal, man. Look, these guys are just laughing at you, Watcha. You're being pathetic. Oh, okay, but the ballista's not as pathetic. Oh, gee. <laughs> Alright, I think these units are stuck, and... The, I mean, the archers can't really move forward because of the banner bearers, right? Well, Artemis is kinda. Is she going to deal with business right now? Does she just not care about banner bearers? Okay. Thank goodness for Artemis. Oh, nope. She's back to being caught up with the banner bears. This guy's inching forward. <laughs> Yo, know, we're gonna call this an archer victory because I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes while maybe someone gets these kills. All right, moving on. All right, guys, here's the deal. The archer tower is now gonna go ahead and go against every single shield unit. I might've forgotten a few. Don't judge me too hard in the comments. 
I know people are about to type, you forgot this guy! But uh, either way, we have shield bears, we have protectors, we have hoplites, we have brawlers, we have hay balers, because I, I consider the hay bale a shield, you know, you know! Um, and, uh, you know, the big unit here is the knights. Those guys are definitely the most powerful. The rest are kind of, they're okay, they're okay, but they're all shielded. They're trying to protect themselves from the archers, baby, so let's get it going! Let's see how these guys do against the um, the archer fire. You know, they're, they're being big brain right now. They're being big brain using these shields. So the first volley sort of comes on in here and it does protect them. Look at these shields in action, baby. Way to go. Yes, that's what we like to see. More fire firework archers could be the problem though. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be real with you chiefs. Firework archers could really mess these fellers up. I'm waiting for this one to explode. Do they not explode anymore? Do they not explode if they hit the ground? Is that how it works? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, knights are colliding with the uh, balloon archer line over here. They're swinging their swords. They're getting some kills. Some of them are hopping off the edge, but some enemies are hopping off the edge as well. Oh, there's those explosions I was looking for. I think that might have actually knocked a few troopers off. Very nice. They're very clustered together, which some could say is a good thing because you can see lots of arrows are impacting the shields instead of the bodies. But also being so compact really leads these fellers to actually go over the edge. Uh, the, the Tower of Death, the moat involved, is very powerful and very scary, so you gotta be careful. Alright, they are entering into the tower now, attacking the lads, defending the very inside keep. Very nice. Um, they'll be going against Artemis pretty soon here. Yeah, she's already firing a little bit. She is going to be dangerous. She's going to be very dangerous. Those firework archers uh, actually managing to hit the shields, but the shields just sort of spaz out and they stay safe. Look at this. Artemis is completely ineffective against one shield bearer. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, but then the firework archer comes in and gives them the old kapuya. Oh, man. Creeper. Oh man, she does end up getting the uh, the kill on them, but then the knight starts clashing with her, and now she's all in a tizzy in the uh, in the melee zone right now. She manages to survive the attack and go on spamming at these protectors, but they're getting so close because she cannot penetrate their shields. Oh, it's bad, dude. It is bad for this Artemis. No, no, she fought. No, my queen. Simp for Artemis, everybody! Simp for Artemis! <laughs> Alright, but at least the knights are on fire now as the skeleton archers manage to do some business. That guy just just hovered up. He just lev I think that's the balloon. I think he just levitated into the ceiling. My yes. man! Levitation powers! Heck yeah! Um, there are a few more knights. But I would say the firework archers stand the best chance of getting these kills because they could just burn through them, you know? Oh, this guy did a bad charge, and now he's like, "Ah, no! <laughs> he's gone, dude. He's freaking dead." Oh, and then we got the banner bears just swatting these guys too. I forgot those guys could actually attack. I didn't think they could. Oh no, no, the archer tower. Oh, they got a kill on that brawler. Swing your, swing your banner. Get a kill. Do it again. Nice. He's actually got a powerful. It's surprising. Oh, there's another snake alive. <laughs> I think the snake just killed the protector. <laughs> and the, the hay baler, too. That snake's an alpha chad. Oh, my God. Oh, there's actually still a snake archer up here. That must have been who was launching it. And a banner bear. Oh, there's, an, there's a whole bunch of archers out here. Dude, you're done. Oh, he does deflect with his shield the first few shots. Wow. The shield's really effective. The shield was big brain. Oh, he does get shot in the... F oh, God. Right in the noggin. Ow. Ow, dude. All right, who's left? <laughs> oh, it's this one guy who's stuck. All right, that's a GG. The Archer Tower does manage another victoire right there. All right, guys, if shields don't work, then Blitzkrieg must. We must Blitzkrieg the enemy. Uh, I did give these guys actually more money than de the defenders because um, these units, the, most of them are going to topple off the edge, let's be honest. So it's just a little bit of an attacker's advantage there. Let us begin! Yeah, so basically any beefy unit that uh, sort of uses Blitzkrieg strategy to just sort of yeet forward is in this. Um, there goes the brawlers, dude. They're going deep! Oh, are those berserkers or brawlers? I can't remember what their name is. Oh, the wheelbarrow is just blowing up! Dude, not good, dude! 
Oh, barrel rollers blowing up the wheelbarrow is not a good sign. The lasso is lassoing some boys. They're going in. They're going for some dudes. They actually managed to catch a few. Not bad. And here comes the cavalry. Oh, God. Oh, they really sauced in there. A whole lot fell over the edge, though. I was completely right about that. A whole lot went over the edge. But now the Blitzkrieg continues. Just spam. Just spam before the archers can shoot you. Here's Artemis clapping some cheeks. She's doing well. She's a pro, dude. I think the archers got this, man. I, I, I think the archers got this big time, dude. <laughs> oh, they're getting clapped. They're getting clapped. Yeah, the archers. That was a big victory for the archers right there. Ooh, Blitzkrieg units didn't stand a chance. Giant units. Just out chonk them. Just out chonk them. If they got chonk levels over 9,000, just hit them with a 9,001 chonk level, baby. Uh, so we got mammoths who are like the steeds of the giant. Hey, really? Oh, no. Oh, ice giant. No. <laughs> I can't. I think the. F did the firework knock them off the edge? Was that what happened right there? Oh, God. The mammoths are just dead, dude. Oh, pixelated Apollo's moving forward, though. Oh, he's getting hit hard. Oh, God. Oh, my man turned into a porcupine. All right, let's try that again, but let's switch it up. Um, I'm thinking maybe just uh, tree giants? I don't know. It didn't really work well before. Maybe just tree giants. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> just spam tree giants, dude. That's a lot of tree giants, dude. Oh, yeah, lots of them going over. They're so big and lanky that they're bound to go over the, the edge. You know, it's not a good time, man. <laughs> it's not a good time to be a tree giant. Archers are, are sending in some fire. That's pretty good. Um, I did turn off that rapid fire mode uh, for the archers that a lot of people weren't weren't too fond of. I really like it. I think it's cool. And then uh, people complained, so I I forgot to turn it off. Actually, that was the the first time. So I was like, oh dang it, I forgot. Uh, but now I actually remembered to turn it off because people just don't like it, which is fine. You know, I just think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand why it is a little bit overpowered though. That man just died. Um. So, massive tree archer problem is that they can't really make it through the door. <laughs> they can't make it through the door at all. It's actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> They're just getting shot over and over again in the doorway. This is really funny. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad. Their bodies are just now sponges in the doorway. Completely blocking their friends from getting in either. Oh, it's rough. That's tragic. <laughs> it's kind of sad, dude. It's kind of sad. Oh, my friends. <laughs> All right, these guys, they lost the battle here. They, they definitely lost the battle here. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for another totally accurate battle simulator video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I think these videos are really fun. I think they're a good change of pace. Uh, every once in a while. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy these videos? Uh, if you do, be sure to like them. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.